Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be talking about why I drink matcha every day and why I love it so much. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting off, I really had no idea of what matcha was. I would always see it whenever I looked at like vlogs in Japan, I'd always see matcha, but just really didn't think much about it. Cause I know it's like really popular over there and basically where it originated. But I know it kind of just started booming over here in the Western world and the US since like, 2014 2015 something like that but i really didn't start drinking it until last year in 2020 when courtney kardashian would always talk about it on push and different stuff like that and so i was like hey let me try it let me <laughs> just give it a try and see you know what is what all the hype's about so i searched some benefits online and saw it and i was like okay maybe i'll try it tried it it was disgusting <laughs> never really liked it but then after drinking it over and over, I was like, okay, it's actually better than I thought. It's like an acquired taste, I'd say. But yeah, let me go ahead and get into the reasons why I like matcha and why I drink it every day. So I'm not really sure of how many ways there are to make matcha, but I just add the matcha powder that you could get from like Whole Foods or Amazon, really any store that sells like healthy things. But I just add the matcha powder to some hot water I usually just put like a little pot on the stove and get the water to almost boiling, kind of like a simmer. And then I just add the matcha powder to that, mix it together and make sure all the powders dissolved and that's the matcha powder. I only drink it iced. I don't like the taste when it's hot. After drinking it for many months now, I still don't like the taste when it's hot. So I just, you know, add ice to it after it simmers and stuff like that. But Anyway, the first reason why matcha is so good is because it's high in antioxidants. You know, if you drink it, it just knocks out all those different harmful compounds and whatever else there may be in your body. So that's one of the reasons why I love matcha so much. And another reason that I love drinking matcha so much is because it has increased brain function. There was like a study done that I read and the people that had matcha in either like a cup form or a bar form since there are like different like forms of consuming matcha even i've seen in japan they have like matcha ice cream and matcha frappuccinos different anyway they just had matcha in different forms and the people that ate the matcha in whatever form they ate it compared to the placebo they had like increased brain function with like memory and reaction time and you know different stuff like that so after reading all these things and there's still some more benefits to matcha that i'm gonna get into later but just after reading these two, I was like, okay, that's, you know, fine. It won't hurt to just drink a little drink and <laughs> see what the hype is about. But yeah, the increased brain function is the second reason why I started drinking it. And the third reason that I'm gonna get into on why I started drinking matcha is because it could possibly help prevent cancer. And I know if you read like the various articles out there, there's tons of things that say it could help prevent cancer. But I don't know, for some reason, it just kind of clicked with me and matcha because there's like various things you could drink that could like I said help prevent you know the growth of cancerous cells or carcinogens and you know different stuff like that but in the study they obviously tested on rats since they can't test stuff on humans but the matcha helped prevent the uh, growth of tumors and help slow the growth of breast cancer cells in the rats you know that they tested in the study and I was like okay maybe matcha won't be so good I mean Sorry, won't, uh, it won't hurt to try it. So it has all these packed on benefits. So why not drink it? And there's even more benefits also. Now the main reason why I started drinking matcha, and I know this is probably the reason everyone may drink it other than the ones that like it for the taste, is that it can boost weight loss and it helps promote weight loss. And because of that, I know any of you all that go to like different supplement stores like Vita, vitamin store or whatever it's called the vitamin store or like GNC or just the health section or whatever grocery store or drug store you may go to all those weight loss pills are packed with like green green tea extract and there are even some pills that are just simply green tea extract and they say that they can help you lose weight and matcha is a green tea <laughs> so you know it has those things that will help burn fat and give you a boost of energy and increase your metabolism and since I had just started working out last August, I was like, okay, maybe matcha combined with my working out work really well. But yeah, those are all the reasons I have why matcha is so good. And the main reason that I do drink it is just for the, you know, the promoting weight loss and fat burning and 
the brain function one and the weight loss one were the main reasons that I started drinking it. And I know, well, I heard that it could help boost your metabolism. And I'm not really sure if it has. I mean, I've lost a ton of weight, like over 100 pounds. I've done, you know, many videos on that. But so I'm assuming it worked or it could just be that I was in a calorie deficit and working out and the matcha did nothing. But I don't know. To me, I believe in my heart that matcha worked and contributed a lot to that process of me losing all that weight. And I know it wasn't the only thing, you know, like the one single factor that helped me lose 100 pounds, but you know, it's just one of the factors combined with all the other ones added in that helped me lose all that weight. And there's various ways you can eat matcha, like I said before, there's the ice cream, and I've even seen on social media like matcha cookies and <clears throat> like matcha cakes and matcha brownies and all that different stuff that I haven't tried before. I only drink it in two ways, which is a matcha latte. And I don't, I stopped eating dairy, so I just have uh, the matcha powder and I mix it with water, add the ice, so it can become an ice matcha. And then I add some cold almond milk to it. And there's my matcha latte. And then when I went to New York, I heard so much about Cha Cha Matcha and all the influencers I follow on Instagram, you know, they love Cha Cha Matcha. And the matcha lemonade that they have and it's just the regular matcha you know blended with hot water iced and then they add lemonade to it so I've heard a lot about that and I want to go back to cha cha matcha again actually to try out the mixture between matcha and chai because I love chai lattes and just drinking chai tea by itself but I didn't try the mixture of the two with matcha and chai because I know chai has a lot of added benefits too that I may make a video about at some point I don't know but the two combined, I feel like, would be like a super drink of, you know, caffeine and just the different antioxidants and help promote weight loss and all those different things that the various teas out there can do. But that's still one that I need to try in the future. The matcha brownies and all that stuff, eh, I may steer clear of those, but the drinks are the ones that I mainly do. And a matcha frappuccino I've never had and I don't think I will have it. It just seems kind of weird drinking a frappuccino that's made out of matcha. But anyway, that's besides the point. But yeah, so now I drink matcha every day, whether it's from Starbucks or Cha Cha Matcha, like I said, or Dr. Smooth that they have in New York and Miami, I want to say. But uh, I just get simply a matcha lemonade. Even if you get it from Starbucks, you have to tell them to add water to it because they'll just pour the matcha powder over in the lemonade, which is way too much sugar and not how the drink is really done. They have to mix it the matcha powder in the water first and then add lemonade after so I tell them that and that made it taste a lot better and not as sweet as it's supposed to or even if you want it to be a bit sweeter but still healthy at the same time you could just get the whole herb packets which are basically stevia add it with monk fruit which is like another sweetener or you could just drink the matcha by itself I don't like the taste of it by itself so that's why I add something in to dilute the strong taste that matcha has but yeah, that's all the reasons I have on why I drink matcha. I'm such a big matcha promoter. I make everyone around me try it. They all don't like it, so I'm the only one, <laughs> the only person I know that drinks matcha. I see other people drinking it. I'm like, okay, so there are others out there that love it. But in my immediate circle, family, friends, they do not like matcha at all. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys. If you love matcha, leave a comment below, like this video, and subscribe. And tell me about any other recipes you have, including matchas that I may need to consider and try out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.